What's up guys, Zach Santagetti here, and today I want to talk about data and media management for filmmakers and cinematographers and why organizing your footage and project files is important and why it's going to benefit you in the future. So stick around and check out the video. Okay guys, so after you get back from a shoot, I just want to show you this little file folder that I've kind of come up with but slash learned at work um, and it's something that we use and I think it's really really helpful uh, for organizing your footage and project files to make sure that everything stays linked and then whenever you're done with your project you can just make a copy of it at the end. Okay so check this out this is just you have all your main folders here you have your raw video so say it was a one to three camera shoot or even more than that probably not but uh, just go in here say we shot on one camera for this uh, I'm going to rename this A7S2 and then I'm going to take these two and then I'm going to move them to the trash. I'm going to put all my A7S footage in here, I'm going to drop that in here and then after that you move on to audio. Sit. I didn't record audio externally for this but on a recent shoot that we did uh, we recorded it with a sound guy so I would put those project assets in, or those, I would put those audio assets in this folder and then whenever I went into the project I would sync them up. Uh, same thing goes for if you had a sound effects package or uh, any voiceover recording for the project and you would do that but nothing for this. So same thing here behind the scenes if any of your friends took photos of you while you were shooting then you put those in here so you can reference back to it later. Uh, graphics, thumbnails. Thumbnails are one thing if you shoot on RAW especially on Sony as soon as you click record, it makes a, uh, a thumbnail basically, so you can easily see what your footage is. Uh, then project files, I'm gonna drop this down. And After Effects, Premiere Pro, Lightroom, sorry, I'm kind of skipping around. Uh, then Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve. You have those and then whatever other programs you use. Um, but basically you put all your auto saves and your main project file inside here and so it, like whenever you're working with multiple programs that everything doesn't get jumbled around and confused. Mind bottling, isn't it? Did you just say mind bottling? Yeah, mind bottling. You know, when things are so crazy, it gets your thoughts all trapped like in a bottle. Then next, exports. Whenever you do your initial export, you just put it in the review folder and then whenever you know that it, for sure that it's final, you move to the finals folder and then inside the finals folder, there's different versioning um, and you can do it different based off social media platforms that you post to. And uh, so yeah, that's basically it for this uh, file format. I kind of learned this from work uh, and I like to use it. I've kind of modified it a little bit to fit my style a little bit better and you guys can do the same thing. I think it helps a lot. Uh, and it's good just for organizing uh, and making sure all your stuff is in the right spot. Uh, and then so, okay, so say, let's just simulate, say you're done with the edit, you deliver the video to the client or it's just a personal project and you're just, you're done with it now. You finish it, you post it online. What do you do now? You can just come out of this, Command C, copy it, and then go to your drive over here, and then just paste it on into the drive, and then, then you have an automatic backup. So that's super helpful whenever you just, you're creating backups and just for redundancy sake, organizing your footage. Whenever you refer back to it and say a year, say you're making a reel or something, then it's all exactly where you remember it, exactly um, organized just like all your other projects are so you have just a system so it's not so you you end up saving a lot of time and not having to jumble through mind bottling isn't it <laughs> not having to jumble through old folders looking for projects and individual video files and then having to relink all your media say you move around one one file clip especially whenever you're backing it up um, you move say you move around that clip and then all your stuff is out of whack and then you have to relink it or somehow three of the clips could get lost this way, if you use this file format, that makes sure that none of that happens, or at least it protects it, you know, three or four or five steps more than if you weren't organizing your footage like that. Anyway, next thing would just be best practices to get a hard drive like this one. Um, link in the description as well. Uh, make two copies of your project files or just, just your footage project folders in general make two copies of those, put them on two drives, and then have one drive at a separate location. You can put it at your friend's house, uh, your parent's house, uh, security box, I don't know, wherever you wanna put your second hard drive, that's where you put it. 
and uh, that's where it stays. So if say there was a fire at your house or there was a fire at the other place, wherever you're putting that second copy, that you always have one copy safe. And so it's just like redundancy, redundancy, just to protect yourself, especially if you're working for a client, you know, who knows, they could come back six months from now and then ask for a different version or a different codec. And then if you don't have those project files and then all that footage, you, you could just be screwed. So basically just redundancy. And then, um, yeah, I, I think that's it for media management. Uh, if you guys have any questions, post them. Uh, in the comments below and uh, I appreciate you guys watching and if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe and stick around there's going to be more videos for just cinematography in general tech reviews uh, and then some action sports stuff so thanks guys